So now we've got the edges in, we want to get these corners and all, all we're doing is we're solving this first layer of the cube. Um, it's the easiest bit. The middle layer um, takes a couple of more difficult algorithms and then the top layer is even more difficult. So for Rory um, to start with, he should just learn how to solve one layer of the cube. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to put the four corners in now. And this is really simple algorithm. And we're going to get each corner in the correct location. And this is how you do it. So first of all, you have to spot where the white corners are. So here we want to have the white, orange and green corner. And it's over here right now. So that's kind of tricky. Um, here we want the white, orange and blue corner. So let's see where that is. So white, orange and blue. It's over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold it so that the white, orange and blue is at the top right. So we want the corner here, top right, where your right, where your white, right, where your right thumb is. And you're going to move the corner from the bottom layer. You're going to turn the bottom layer so that it, that that corner that you want is below where it needs to be. So the white, orange, and blue corner needs to be here. So we're going to put it here, right underneath where it needs to be. And then all we're going to do. And this is going to be quite amazing because it, it, it doesn't mess up anything that you've done. What you're going to do is you're going to go down, left, up, right, up to six times. So sometimes it will solve it on the first time and sometimes it takes all six times to solve it. But it will never take more than six. So if it's taking more than six, then you've done it wrong. Okay, so we've got the corner underneath where it needs to go. White, blue and orange. It's going to go here and the corner is here. So it's underneath where it needs to go. And then you're going to move the right side down, the bottom side to the left, the right side up, and the bottom side to the right. Down, left, up, right. We've done it once. We can see the corner is in the correct place, but it's not facing the right way. So we're going to do it again. We want it to look like this, where the white, blue, and orange is in the correct orientation. So we're going to do down, left, up, right again. So down, bottom layer to the left, right layer up, bottom layer to the right. And now it's not even there anymore. So, we're going to, so we've done it twice, now we're going to do it again. Down, left, up, right. And we see it's there, but it's still not facing the right way. So that's three times, this is going to be the fourth time. Down, left, up, right. That's the fourth time. It's underneath where it needs to go, still, but it's, yeah, it's not in the correct place yet. So this is the fifth time. Down, left, up, right. Hurrah! We've got the white, blue, and orange in the correct place, just like in this cube. And it's not messed up our edges that we've done. So now we're going to look for the next corner. Um, so white, red, and blue is up here. We want ones that are down in the bottom. So here's another one that's down in the bottom. So again, we've got white, green, and red, and we're gonna, we want it here, where the white, green, and red centers are, or the edges as well. So we're gonna move the bottom layer so that the white, green, and red corners, corner is below where it needs to be. It needs to be in this spot. And in doing this, we're going to kick this one out of the top layer. It's going to go into the bottom. So for the next corner, we can put this back into the top where it needs to go. But that's just explaining. Um, so anyway, so we've got the white, green, and red below where it needs to be. I'm going to do down, left, up, right. Down, left, up, right. Down, left, up, right. Down, left, up, right down, left, up, right. That's five times again, but we've got the corners. So now we look on the bottom layer again for another white corner that needs to be placed. And we see we've got this white, green, and orange. And it needs to go here with the white, green, and orange centers and edges. So we're gonna turn the bottom layer to get it underneath where it needs to go. So the white, green, and orange needs to go here. So it's underneath where it needs to go. 
and again you've got it where your right thumb is so the top layer on the right hand side this corner here is where you're going to be placing it and do right side down bottom layer left right side up bottom layer right down left up right down left up right down left up right down left up right and we've done it so this first layer of the cube is looking really good right now we've got one more corner to put in so again you want it here and your front right where your right thumb is that's where you want the piece so we're going to turn the bottom layer until that piece is underneath where it needs to go and there it is so you can't see the white because it's on the bottom but that's where it is so you want this piece to go here so it's underneath where it needs to go it's by your right thumb and you're going to do down left up right down left up right down left up right down left up right and there you have it you've solved the first layer of the Rubik's Cube. You've got your white face all solved. Red matches red. Blue matches blue. Orange matches orange. And green matches green. The next stage would be to fill in these edges here on the middle layer. But they're a little bit more complicated. The algorithm is a little bit more complicated. Um, so we won't do that yet. If he can just solve one face, one, one, well, the white face, but the first layer of the cube, that would be amazing. Um, and if he gets bored of doing white, he can try and do red. So with red, you would want to get a red cross. So white and red we have. Now we need red and green and red and yellow to go here and red and blue to go here. Um, so we could do this that way, turn that way, like so. So we've got red and blue. So now we're going to get the red and green. Where's the red and green? Here it is. It's here. And if I just turn this up like that, we've got red and green. And now we just need the red and yellow. Red and yellow. It's here. So I need to put it here, but if I turn this to match the red, it's going to kick out this slot. So we need to turn this so that this goes there. Let's turn that. So now when I turn this, it's going to make it's going to match the red. And then I can turn this back, and now I have the red cross. And now it's the same with the white um, edge. You look for red on the bottom on the bottom layer because that's the face that we're solving. So this is red, yellow, and green. It's gonna go between the red, yellow, and green edges or centers. So there it is. It needs to go here on your right thumb, down, left, up, right. 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 There you go. And no matter um, when this piece gets solved, make sure you finish the down, left, up, right. Don't just go down, left, up, 